It is modern day folklore. To others, it is simply tabloid headlines. But to a select few, it is the ultimate reality. Intergalactic aliens have arrived on Earth. Now, they move among us. Only one top secret elite group of trained professionals has the ability to detect these extraterrestrial beings. B.A.D. The Bureau of Alien Detectors. Led by squadron leader Sergeant Ben Packer, military war hero, special agent Shane Sanderson, life science expert, Moose Tringanu, alien encounter survivor, Colin Marcus, computer specialist, and Casey Taylor, psychic communicator. Together, they have only one mission, to confront, control, and contain all alien encounters. Together, they are B.A.D., the Bureau of Alien Detectors. Men. Remember, keep it simple. No heroics. What are we looking for, sir? Orders are to find parts of the Angel satellite that recently fell to Earth. Sir, I see the fallen Angel over there. All right, Sergeant, you take the point. Okay, men, move out. So is it a satellite or an alien craft? That's what we're here to find out. Get the containment crates. Hold on. I'm getting a radiation read. That way. Move out! We've locked onto your signal, Lieutenant. Try not to confront the visitors. Your objective must remain a secret. Proceed with caution. We don't know what's inside. Wait for backup if you see anything. I thought we were after satellite parts, sir. What's in this cave? Change of direction, soldier. There's a special package we're looking for. Orders of BAD. Caution, men. You hear those strange sounds? We're not alone. Do not fire your weapons. This place gives me the creeps. Keep your cool, guys. What's that? Hold your fire, soldiers. Shoot them. They're all around us. Don't panic. They're all around us. We need backup. There's too many of them. We can't stop them. Let's get out of here. Fall back. Fall back, men. Charlie, report in. The are coming for us. Help us, sir. They got us pinned. What in the world? Uh! Charlie! Captain, help me! has not seen fit to join us yet. Uh, Major V, she's on her way. I'll get her up to speed. Indeed. Your assignment is to track down and recover a four-member hazardous materials recovery team. Missing in quadrant J-38 since yesterday. J-38? That's in Canada. Can't somebody get lost somewhere warm for once, like the Bahamas or Tahiti or Rio? The missing hazmat personnel are to be recovered at all costs. Time is of the essence. Let's move out. That means you too, Special Agent Taylor. If it's because you haven't had any luck in locating the whereabouts of Special Agent Borges... No, it's not Miguel. It's... I don't know. You were out in the chopper looking for him. Yes. Unauthorized use of bureau equipment can get the whole team grounded, Casey. Special Agent Borges didn't just vanish into thin air, sir. It was a firefight with the aliens. The whole mountain was on fire. You were there? You saw the destruction? The smoke? Yes, I was there, pinned down by aliens in a firefight. I might have been taken out if not for... No! Miguel! Look out! Agent Borges saved my life, sacrificed his own. The aliens abducted him. I gave chase and found their base hidden under a lake. They were trying to escape. 
Was Miguel in their ship? I don't know. But that's when you joined in. Hold your position, Agent Taylor. I'm in pursuit. I'm only going to disable their flight. We want them and Agent Borges alive. Locked on. Firing to disable. No! I didn't mean it, but the ship blew up with Miguel on it. Well, maybe that's the difference between us, sir. You've written him off as dead. But me? I know he's out there somewhere, fighting for his life. I can feel it. I thought you called off the search for Special Agent Borges. Special Agent Taylor is trouble. Her inner sixth sense worries us. She has no idea of the truth when it comes to Agent Borges. And believe me, Miss Gray, she is going to be kept too busy to ever find out. Team 22C, exercise extreme caution. There is possibility of extraterrestrial involvement. Keep comms open for constant communication and updates. That is all. Be out. This way, team. There's the debris from the Angel satellite. This must be the cave they entered. The hazmat team found something. Their beacon is on, through that crack in the ice. Well, if you're not afraid of the dark, neither am I. We're with you, Sarge. Tight formation. Taylor, Tringano, take the rear. Let's join the party, Casey. We're headed in the right direction. The signal from their communicator is strong. We're practically right on top of them. There's something faint up ahead. Here it is. Takes the licking and keeps on ticking. No. I was afraid of this. Those stinking aliens. They froze them in a block of ice. We don't know aliens did it. The heck we don't. Carve them out of there and transport them back to the battle hawk. I want to be cleared out of here in 15 minutes. Taylor, you and I will secure the perimeter. Casey! Taylor! Sorry, Sarge. I could have sworn I heard Miguel right then, calling me. Come on, surfer boy. Let's load him up and move him out. I'm getting the creeps. Whoa, that's weird. This ice isn't cold. At least not ice cold. Some kind of artificial ice? Could be. What are you getting? Methane, some ammonia, some rare earths, lithium, cesium. Sounds extraterrestrial to me. About as extraterrestrial as they come. That's freaky. Hey, wait a minute. They're alive! I knew it. Aliens. Man, I've never seen anything like it. Those hazmat guys are in a perfect state of cryogenic suspension. So? Cryo's been around for years. This is light years ahead of any human technology. <laughs> Trust me. But why would aliens want to freeze humans? Maybe the aliens want to transport them back to their home planet. Even at light speed, some galaxies are hundreds of years away. No human, not even human remains, would last that long unless they were preserved somehow. I think we're dealing with a T1 encounter. Could be very dangerous. And that's why we're going to make sure that whatever is in there doesn't get out. Put them on ice for a change. Yeah. Okay. Time to lock the door. All set, sir. We'll start the timer when everyone's clear. Yes, sir. Two minutes. Let's go, team. Come on, Case. Oh, wait a second, Moose. I'm sensing something. Let's sense it from out there, okay? The countdown hasn't started yet. Just give me a few seconds. Hold it. I've got something big here. What is it, Taylor? I'm sending a visual feed. Oh, I don't think it's a craft. Maybe the alien's energy unit or food processing device, or it's an early warning device. Sarge, I think we've hit some kind of laser tripwire. Get out of there now. Go, go. Oh, my. There's a baby in here, Sarge. A human baby. Get out of there, Taylor. Now. Sarge, the sound triggered the countdown. It's not responding to recall. I can't stop it. Sanderson, Marcus, Tranganu, 
get to the chopper. Taylor, get out. That's an order. Moose, get back here! No! Not without Casey. Casey! Casey! trapped in there or they've been buried alive. Scanning the mountain now, Sarge. Got him. No, wait. Got three readouts here. Could be the two of them and the baby Casey said she found. Sanderson, you sure you're reading human? Oh, yeah. As human as they come. <coughs> Casey, you okay? Yeah, I think so. Hey, little buddy. <laughs> you're getting a lot of your color back, you know that? Other people might not have spotted it, but me? I knew you were alive the minute I saw you. Come on. Whatever's in here has got to know we're here by now. We rang the doorbell pretty loud. Shh, listen. Getting closer, aren't they? Yeah. Let's see if we can find somewhere to duck out of sight. <sighs> Any sign of another way in? Still looking. Hey, I think I see an opening, Sarge. 17 left, 23 down. There's a small vent visible on the scanner screen. Passage coming up on the left. Looks like it might just be the place for two fugitives and a baby to hold up while they figure out their next move. If any. You know what? You look just like Miguel. Did you know that, you little sweetheart? Doc! I'm sensing something. Something different this time. I don't see anything. We're being watched. Get us out of here! Go! Go! <laughs> They might be alive if they got away from the explosion. My scanner's picking up life signs of another sort, not human. And I'm getting anomalous readings all around us. Hey, look at this. We got company, guys. Right here. Sarge, up there. If we don't get out of here, we'll be the ice tree of the month.
blasters won't work against these guys. We know. We know. I did a lab run on the alien ice. It's not just simple methane and ammonia. There are a lot of impurities. And my guess is we can rig a solution that'll break the chemicals down like laundry detergent on a greasy dish towel. Your guess? Well, I was sure enough of it to log it into the computer. Ready to go? <laughs> Good job. You two get set up to rumble with the aliens. I'm going back for Casey and Moose. <laughs> Contact Major V. We might need some backup. Good luck. <laughs> Hang on, little trooper. I see daylight. Oh, great. We're gonna be entrees in the frozen food section. Special agent markings to Major B. Code red. Repeat, code red. We are engaged in an alien firefight. Yes! Come on, Sarge! and moose. Close and getting closer. We need something to divert their attention so the sergeant can get out. Hey, blue boy! Over here! Ah! Oh, boy. Shane, get down! Moose, if we don't get around him, we'll be frozen! I'll hold him off. You go! Oh, no. Not without you. <laughs> Consider this a Tarzan yodel, blue boy. Excuse me while I kick some alien butt. Sarge! Save the hugs and kisses for later. We've got to get out of here. really gonna nail me for this. Kick it off. It's already frozen solid. If you try to move it, it snaps off. Just tell me what to do, Sandman. Get me on the chopper. If the hazmat guys can come out of this alive, then so can I. You'll be fine, Marcus. Just like this little guy. Whoa. Ugly little cuss. Where'd he come from? Packer to Major V. Call off all backup units. Mission accomplished. We're coming home. How's Sanderson doing, Marcus? Got him stabilized, Sarge. I'd swear he's smiling right now. This is just one big lab test to him. I'm sure those hazmat guys could have done without being turned into alien guinea pigs. How are they coming along? Shane said he was gonna make it because they were gonna make it. And Shane never lies. He's right so far. I'll tell you one thing for sure. This ice stuff stops molecular movement. The photo in the security file on Agent McLaren here shows him with gray hair. These people aren't growing any older. Even guys dye their hair sometimes, Marcus. Not when they're encased in a block of ice, Sarge. If being on alien ice makes you look that much younger in only two days... How long was this little guy on ice? A whole lot longer than that. He sure is one cute little guy. Don't see many babies with hair that red. No, you sure don't. Miguel must have looked like that when he was a kid. Yeah. Look, this fella's even got the same kind of strawberry mark in the palm of his hand. <clears throat> Bye, sweetheart. Don't forget me, okay? <laughs> oh, aren't you sweet? I just love that adorable red hair. That's Miguel, isn't it? No, my dear. The Miguel you knew is dead. No, that baby is him, Special Agent Borges. He's gotten younger and younger in that alien ice. And, Ms. Gray, I think you knew that. And I think you have a pretty good idea of why the aliens would want to do that. You give me too much credit. Look, I know it is Miguel. Would it make you feel better, my dear, to believe that? Yes, it would. I've confiscated Special Agent Sanderson's notes, as you suggested. Yes, well, we can't have people thinking aliens are bringing them a fountain of youth. Could you imagine the public relations problems that would cause? No one likes to grow old, Miss Gray. They won't like growing too young, either. If Team 22Z hadn't found him when they did, we may never have found him at all. 
Seal the file on Special Agent Borges, Major V. I want all official inquiries to terminate, especially any that might be instituted by Special Agent Casey Taylor. We don't want her to intrude on his second childhood, now do we?